In this video today, I'm going to show you how I make uh, my 1920s style scarf, how I tie it and how I make it stay in place. I wear this style almost every day and get asked all of the time how I do it and it's really quite easy. If we haven't met yet, my name is Evelyn Wood and here on this channel we do everything. Uh, sewing, vintage and fashion and today we're looking at fashion or vintage fashion and hair scarves. So I wear this sort of 1920s type style scarf all the time and I get requested on how I tie it all of the time. So if you have a similar kind of like bobbed curly hair like me and you're looking to um, recreate this um, just simple simple everyday scarf then that is what we're going to do today. So first up, you're going to need to style your hair. So I like to get it styled and make it sort of sit exactly how you'd like it to sit. So get all your curls right, do your pomade, do your hairspray, do all that sort of thing. And then you're going to need a scarf. So you really want a long rectangular scarf is best. But you can make one out of a square. So simply fold the corners, this is very difficult corners into the middle like so and then kind of roll 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 and then you have a long rectangular scarf look at that I'm going to use this rectangular one for this tutorial okay so you've got your hair styled and let's start so you, I always put mine down on this side here so I like to have this side a little bit shorter and this one a little bit longer so that by the time it wraps around uh, it's going to it's got longer to reach so you're going to need to make it longer now arrange your scarf in any way that you might need to and then I'm just going to watch myself for the time being sorry <laughs> Okay, so pop it on. You can, if you want to do full 20s, pop it on over your head. I like to show just my hairline a little bit through there. And then come down uh, just to where your ears are in front, like on top of your ears. Pull this around to the back and then kind of check. So don't worry if they're not exactly right and you can fix it up a little bit to even, even the, the length out through there. And then if it looks okay so far, just really loosely tie into a knot. Don't pull it too tight yet because what we need to do, arrange your hair. So what you want to think about doing is actually pulling out your hair from underneath the scarf and pulling it forward over the top. So it actually covers like this bit here and this front bit, you kind of like stretch it out and fluff it over the top. So pull it out and over. And then this part just fluff out a little bit. It'll feel really weird at first because you'll have hair that's in your face and you'll think like it's real fluffy, but that's the point. It's like that 20s fluffy look. So once you're happy, pull your scarf a little tighter. Excellent. Still good. You don't want it too tight because it'll just, you know, fall off your head. <laughs> and then this one here is actually nice, just um, left uh, long, but I quite often, depending how big your scarf is, actually pull one up and just like leave it in a knot this one looks terrible like it um, but maybe I'll show you with the uh, other one in a moment and then that's it that's done that's it if you feel like it's a bit slippery and you want a little extra support put lift up and just slide a bobby pin in down here around close to the knot and I would suggest if you if it's a very heavy uh, one to put another one on the other side of the knot too around the bobby pins and then they're invisible. And again, pop it up and you can put a little bobby pin in here that will then be covered with your hair. Easy, right? Let me show you what I do with the rectangular, uh, the square one that I've changed into a rectangle. So same process again. This side, a little bit longer. Then loosely tie, arrange my hair pulling my hair forward over the top it's kind of nice to have that like fluffy look to it I think it sort of suits the style and arrange this um, to get it thicker or, f or skinnier however you like it and as I said for a proper 20s look you'd have it like over your forehead down here but it's a bit hot for me 
Okay, so then what you can do is just going to tie a knot, just pull one through and just kind of half tie it so that you end up with, like don't quite pull the whole bow out and then if you've got a really long rectangle you can kind of just arrange and it creates more of a, a big poofy fluff here so which is really really quite nice um, which I like. So there you go it's actually really really easy right? I know it's super easy. Well I really do hope you enjoyed this uh, short little scarf tutorial today for a good 1920s look and remember if you use bigger longer scarves you can really like you know zhuzh it up and have like quite a style thing happening on here uh, just like they did in proper 1920s style. Uh, but this is the way I like to wear it and I use this every day for just a little bit of decoration to finish off my outfit. So thanks very much for watching and remember uh, subscribe to my channel if you like anything to do with vintage fashion and sewing. Please go ahead subscribe and if you liked this video go ahead and like it and I will see you in the next video. Bye! You liked my lady in the background? She's adorable, right? I know, it's the biggest like lady head vase. It's an actual vase, but I decided to put uh, actual fake eyelashes on her as well, just to, you know, make it more authentic and a little bit prettier.